How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Where are you? I'm actually in Brazil. I'm at a convention called CCXP, which is one of the biggest Comic Cons in the world. And I'm oh, I've been there. I was going to say, I was yes. going to be like, exactly. So for people that don't realize, what do you want to tell people about CCXP? Because you understand this. Yes, I love that. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had. The, the fans are, were incredible. Yeah, you can also, you can, you know what I mean. You can see how yeah. it's, 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 uh, I was going to curse. It's kind of nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll say it like that. But listen, I want to start with um, congratulations. Uh, you're both so good in the movie. Um, I think uh, this Tom Hanks is going to have a career. He's going to land on his feet. You think so? I don't know. Yeah, I he's going to. I don't Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm um, being uh, serious, uh, Mariana, I'm. I can't believe you were the same person I saw in Narcos, Mexico. Like oh. you're, I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it when I was prepping to talk to you. I was like, this is not the same woman. No way. <laughs> I was, so I just, I just want to get, I want to give you huge props because it's, uh, you, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, Ma thank you. Manuel, I, I'm sort of curious. Um, Tom, I, I read that Tom suggested you for this role after you worked with him previously and you you can sometimes be known as a serious action person. And this is such a different role for you. When someone gets you a role like this, what do you get them as a gift? Well, <laughs> well, first of all, yes, you're right. Uh, when I first, you know, for me, it's very hard to do comedy. Or at least for me, I, I feel like I'm not confident enough to do it. But then I've heard that Tom was like, no, Manuel, well, let's bring Manuel. And I'm like, if Tom says, I have to do it, <laughs> you know. Um, but, yeah, I did give him, first of all, a lot of thanks. And and I did bring him, uh, you know, remember, I gave him the los, los Yeah, how do you say it? Uh, for the table, like the like, tablecloth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because he was telling me about his house and blah, blah, blah. So I bring him and Rita some presents. Uh, yeah, tequila I drop in there as well. Uh, yeah. For for both of you, um, what was it about the script and material that said I really need to do this? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously because Tom and Mark were attached to the project, and it's like a dream come true to work with both of them. Uh, and uh, and it was just like a a beautiful. It, it is a beautiful script. The the novel is. Uh, amazing and I think it was very faithful what David McGee did and transformed for, for the film and it's just a beautiful story that speaks uh, to all of us at this moment and um, speaks about community about finding your own family and and we have become isolated with the pandemic a lot and fragmented in so many ways that I think it's a good moment to see this this film yeah I think so too I mean for me, it was the people involved, you know, Tom saying that, you know, inviting me, of course. I always wanted to work with uh, with Mark Forster. I, I met him a few years back and I told him I, you know, I loved his work and I wanted to work with him sometime. So that was that, this story. And also, I want to bring my mom to a movie that she's <laughs> not, there's no guns and no, you know, like something that she would be like crying and, you know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, because it's just a beautiful story. So so I'm I'm, I'm really proud um, to be part of this. I love cats, and uh, this film has a cat. And I'm just curious yeah. if you, if, I'm one just wondering, do you think the moral one of the morals of the movie is a cat can help save your life? Totally, it <laughs> saves mine every day. <laughs> I have three cats, and yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, well, I I love that aspect because they do comfort me and just they're my companions of life and uh, and I and I love them and I just love that Otto finds finds <laughs> their savior the yeah. savior and the, and the cats <laughs> yeah no, I, I I love that aspect of the film um I love talking about people's careers and what they've done and uh, the question I like asking a lot of people for both of you is when you think back on all the projects you've worked on what shot like what specific shot ended up being the toughest one that you've been a part of Ooh, I oh i don't for me for me uh for me i think it's been uh doing michael bay six on the ground uh rolling on a car 
you know, being strapped on things and just rolling and rolling and rolling, you know, that was uh, one of the toughest things I've ever done because mm -hmm. I got claustrophobic. So, you know, being tied into the car and just going like this over and over and over. I think that was the toughest thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I just worked on a, on a series called Cecilia and there was a, there's a scene where she has kind of a breakdown, a bit of a psychotic, you know, breakdown in a very important family meeting. And it was uh, challenging, you know, challenging to kind of go into that state and then reel back and do it again. I mean, it, sure. it was uh, it was emotionally challenging, but it was very rewarding because all the work that was done previously led to that moment. It was like the emotional uh, pivot. Yeah. And when it's done and when you do it along with everybody else, it just feels so rewarding. And uh yeah, it was difficult, but it was very rewarding. Obviously, like everyone, and I'm sure both of you, uh, I think Tom Hanks is just an amazing, such a talented actor. And um, he makes me believe, I mean, he could read the phone book and I would want to watch it. So yes. I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm so serious. Totally. I'm curious. What, yes. what is it like watching someone like that up close? Because he's such a professional and he is not a diva. And he's, you know what I mean? Like, so what, what is it like really working with someone like that? And what do you take away from it to bring to your own work going forward? I mean, I mean, for me, it was, uh, it, it's my second film with him and it's just, I can't emphasize it or I can't just, is I my brain doesn't take like I can't understand how a, a character or a person like this huge star Tom Hanks can be, you know, this it should be like that, but this humble and this uh this welcoming and this uh you know um and I think he 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 rock, he's the captain of the boat. So whatever he brings into the set, you know, the energy that he brings, the attitude that he brings, that's the way everybody, you know. So that's why I think, I mean, especially the two films that I've been with him, they they work so nicely because you know his his the, the energy that he brings is is what you know everyone's in the yes. same page. Yeah, yeah, and. Um... And he really, the, the scenes that we worked, like he is so truthful all the time. He works from a place of just truth and he can portray it so, um, eff not effortless, you know, but it's just, it comes out with such sincerity yeah. in the moment. And, and he's a generous actor. He stands there with you and he gives you everything, even if it's your take. And, and you know, if it was mine, he would be working completely open his heart was like you know and 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 so so working with so much truth all the time and he happens to be a genius in every sense he's so smart and he's so resourceful in every possible way and all that goes into his performance and so to be the recipient of all those contents uh, it just kind of uh, makes your performance better obviously in any way I mean it's just such a blessing yeah. On that note, I need to go. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And enjoy your afternoon. Thank you. Thank enjoy you. Brazil.